Selling on Amazon? You know how important Amazon ads are for your business. They can really boost your success if you use them wisely. But here's the thing. Nearly half of Amazon sellers have trouble keeping tabs on their ad info. And when you're not on top of it, your ad campaigns might not work as well as they could. Well, the good news is you can fix this by getting to grips with Amazon advertising reports. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at SellerApp and today I'll delve into Amazon advertising reports. Now this is part 2 of the topic. In part 1, I have covered Amazon sponsored products reports. Now please find the link of the same in the comment section below. Also in part 2, I'll reveal everything you need to know about the sponsored brands and the sponsored display reports. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Wondering how to make the most of Amazon advertising reports? So let's break it down. Here's how these reports can help you fine-tune your ad strategy and run campaigns uh, that hit the mark. Firstly, they help you understand your audience better. Figuring out who you are trying to reach can be a bit tricky. Amazon reports make it way easier. Dive into the details to see which keywords are getting the most attention from your audience. With this info, you can focus your efforts where uh, they'll have the most impact. Second is they show the value of your ads. Sometimes it's hard to prove that your ads are you know, paying off. That uncertainty can make the business owners hesitant to invest more. But with Amazon reports, you can measure the reports of your campaigns against the key metrics. So this way you can make informed decisions about where to take your advertising next. So moving on to our first reports, that is sponsored brands reports. Under this, we have total line types. So let's look into each one of them in detail. First is keyword report. Now, beyond assessing uh, performance within specific categories, leverage the keyword report to identify the crossover opportunities. For instance, if certain keywords perform exceptionally well in one category, but have not been targeted in another, consider expanding your campaign scope to capitalize on the untapped potential. Use historical performance data from uh, the keyword report to uncover seasonal trends and adjust your advertising strategy accordingly. So by identifying the keywords that consistently spike in popularity during certain seasons, you can allocate resources more effectively and optimize bids ahead of anticipated demand fluctuations. Second is keyword placement report. So compare the performance of your keywords across different placements with industry benchmarks to gauge your ads competitiveness. If your keywords consistently underperform against those benchmarks uh, in certain placements, it may indicate the need for more compelling ad copy or even uh, strategic bid adjustments. So analyze the correlation between ad positioning and performance metrics to refine your ad placement strategy. For instance, if you notice that certain keywords yield 
higher conversion rates when placed at the top of the search results. Consider adjusting bids to prioritize the top placement for those keywords, right? Next is third, uh, that is campaign report. Implement advanced attribution modeling techniques to attribute sales accurately across campaigns. So by analyzing the incremental impact of each campaign on the overall sales, you can optimize the budget allocation to maximize ROI and avoid, uh, you know, over or under investing in specific campaigns. Utilize campaign performance data to segment your audience based on various parameters such as demographics, uh, purchase behavior, or device usage. This segmentation enables you to tailor your messaging and targeting strategies for different audience segments, improving the relevance and uh, even the engagement. Fourth is campaign placement report. Implement automated bidding strategies based on uh, campaign placement uh, performance to optimize bids in real time. So by leveraging machine learning algorithms, you can dynamically adjust bids for different placements to achieve uh, desired performance targets while minimizing the manual intervention. Also, uh, monitor competitor campaigns and uh, placements to identify the opportunities for strategic positioning. If uh, you know competitors consistently outperform in certain placements, evaluate whether adjusting bids or refining ad creatives can help gain a competitive edge. Fifth is search terms report. A very common report uh, which we have already seen in the sponsored products as well. Identify long tail keywords with high conversion rates from the search term reports and incorporate them into your targeting strategy. So this niche keywords often have lower competition and higher intent, offering opportunities to capture highly relevant traffic and drive incremental sales. So analyze the impact of search terms on the entire customer journey by uh, implementing advanced attribution models. By understanding how different search terms contribute to awareness, consideration, and conversion stages, you can actually optimize your uh, bidding and targeting strategies to maximize your overall ROI. Sixth is search term impression share report. So you can use this report to understand your competitiveness for specific search terms compared to other advertisers. By analyzing your search term impression share uh, relative to the competitors, you can identify the opportunities to increase your ad visibility and gain market share in uh, relevant queries. So leverage these insights from the search term impression share report to adjust your bidding strategy for high value search terms. If you are consistently uh, losing impression share for critical keywords, consider increasing your bids to improve ad placement and capture even more impressions. Seventh is category benchmark report. Uh, utilize the category benchmark report to identify the categories or even subcategories where uh, your sponsored brand ads uh, perform exceptionally well uh, compared to the peers. Now, this insight can inform uh, strategic decisions about expanding your advertising presence in lucrative categories to capitalize on untapped opportunities. So analyze the uh, performance between, uh, you know, the performance gap uh, between your sponsored brand ads and the top performing peers within each category. Identify areas where you lag behind uh, the competitors in metrics such as CTR, ACOS, or even ROAS and develop action plans 
to close the gap through uh, optimization efforts. Eighth is uh, attributed purchase report. Dive deep into the performance of individual products attributed uh, to your sponsored brand ads. Identify uh, the top performing products with high conversion rates and uh, optimize your advertising strategy to uh, actually promote these products more aggressively. Conversely, uh, assess underperforming products and explore ways to um, improve their visibility or conversion rates. Uh, apart from them, identify complementary or related products that customers tend to purchase after clicking on your sponsored brand ads. So use this insight to develop cross-selling strategies such as bundling or uh, recommending the complementary products to maximize the revenue per customer. Ninth is gross and invalid traffic report. Uh, use the gross and invalid traffic report to uh, identify the patterns of suspicious or fraudulent activity within your campaigns. Monitor fluctuations in invalid traffic metrics and investigate any anomalies to mitigate uh, the potential ad fraud risks. Uh, implement measures such as ad placement, uh, the exclusions or traffic filtering to minimize the impact of invalid traffic on campaign performance. So by understanding the impact of invalid traffic on the campaign metrics such as uh, your click-through rate or conversion rates, you can adjust your advertising budget allocation to focus the resources on channels or placements with higher quality traffic. So this optimization strategy helps maximize ROI by maximizing, uh, sorry, minimizing the wasteful spending on traffic that is unlikely to convert. Next are sponsored display reports. So in this, we are going to be looking into six types of reports. So let's dive right into them. First is campaign report. Utilize campaign reports to analyze the performance of your sponsored display ad across um, different audience segments. So by segmenting uh, the campaigns based on demographics, uh, interests or behaviors, uh, you can identify which audience segments are most responsive to your ads and optimize the targeting strategies accordingly. Also, uh, compare the performance of different ad creatives within each campaign to identify the top performing variations. Uh, use insights from uh, the campaign report to iterate on creative elements such as messaging, imagery, or call to action to um, you know, improve your overall campaign performance. Second is targeting report. Dive deeper into targeting reports to understand how different placements impact the performance of your sponsored display ad campaign. Uh, by analyzing the metrics such as uh, CTR and conversion rates across various placements, uh, you can optimize uh, the bidding and targeting strategies to prioritize placements that deliver the best results. So uh, assess the performance of keyword targeting across multiple campaigns to identify uh, high performing keywords and refine your targeting strategy accordingly. Use insights from uh, targeting reports to adjust the keyword bids, add negative keywords or expand keyword targeting to maximize reach and relevance. Third is advertised product report. Uh, use advertised product reports to evaluate the performance of individual ASINs across all the sponsored display campaigns. Identify uh, the top performing ASINs with high sales and conversion rates and allocate more budget or strategic focus to promote these products further. Conversely, uh, analyze underperforming ASINs to identify opportunities for optimization or even product enhancements. Uh, compare the performance of your advertised ASINs against 
uh, your competitor products within the same category. Use insights from uh, advertised product reports to uh, even benchmark your product's performance and identify areas for improvement or competitive differentiation. Now next report is purchased product report. Uh, you can actually uh, analyze the performance details of non-advertised ASINs that shoppers purchased after clicking on your ad identify patterns of cross purchases to uncover the potential of uh, cross selling opportunities uh, you can use these insights to optimize uh, the product recommendations bundle offerings or even promotional strategies to encourage additional uh, purchases and increase customer lifetime value also uh, conduct market basket analysis to understand the relationship between advertised and the non-advertised products purchased by shoppers. Identify frequently co-purchased items to um, inform merchandising strategies, uh, promotional campaigns, or the product bundling initiatives aimed at driving incremental sales and enhancing the shopper's experience. Now the next one is matched target report so explore the exact essence that led shoppers to click on your sponsored display ad to discover new product targeting opportunities also analyze high performing essence from the matched target report and consider adding them as new product targets within your sponsored display campaigns to uh, expand reach and drive additional conversions. Identify the competitor ASINs that appear alongside your ads in the match target report and analyze the competitor products performance metrics to gain the insights into uh, that competitive positioning or uh, pricing strategies and uh, the product features. So use these insights to refine your advertising strategy and uh, strengthen your competitive advantage in the marketplace. Sixth and the last one is gross and invalid traffic report. Uh, leverage the gross and invalid traffic report to monitor and mitigate ad fraud risks within your sponsored display campaigns. Identify patterns of invalid traffic such as bot clicks or click farms and take proactive measures to filter out the fraudulent traffic sources, implement traffic quality filters and uh, you know ad placement exclusions or even bid adjustments to minimize the impact of invalid traffic on the campaign performance and ROI. Analyze the correlation between cross and uh, invalid traffic metrics and campaign performance indicators such as the CTR, conversion rates, and the ROAS. Identify any adverse effects of invalid traffic on campaign effectiveness and adjust the bidding or targeting strategies accordingly to optimize the campaign performance and mitigate financial losses due to uh, ad fraud right so to make smart decisions that get results with amazon ads you need to use data it's important to regularly look at and understand uh, your amazon advertising reports these reports give you helpful information and show you where you can make things better if you need any kind of assistance getting started on optimizing your Amazon ad campaigns and reports, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at sellerapp.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Sellerapp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics you can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you 
If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling.